All right, we're back. Still working on basic touching and feeling and brushing and getting him used to feeling stuff on his belly to get him prepped up and ready to go for a saddle. All right. See why that bothers him? I mean, who knows? It should feel pretty good. He should be, you know, should be relaxing a little bit, thinking, hey, that's not such a bad deal. But, like I said, he's, he's a little bit twitchy about things. And it could be still just a little bit of distrust going on, too. You never know. But I just got to keep doing my thing and see what he does. Now, when I brought the saddle pad and blanket out this morning, he uh, got a little bit razzed up about me throwing it on the rail and whatnot, but that's okay. So, I haven't really worked much on his leading other than in and out of the paddock, but we're going to go back and check his leading out too and make sure that he leads properly and respects my space. But he does have a tendency to back away from me too, more than what I like, so I don't want to do a whole lot of it. I'm just making sure that I've got control of his quarters, control of his head, I can bend him around. And now we got flies biting, so I guess it's a good time to check and see if he's been fly sprayed. You know, you would not, you guys probably would not believe me if I told you how many horses come in for training, old ones, young ones, in between ones that have never been taught what a spray, what fly spray is, or been taught how to stand tied, all of the basic stuff that you want these guys to understand. Before you try to crawl on. I mean, geez, what horse? He's not bad about it, really. He's a little bit touchy about it. He's not bad. He's been sprayed, obviously, but probably not regularly but I just want to control his head don't let him back away from me if I can help it and just keep moving him around and moving those quarters around so that I can keep him under control don't kick out like that See, even though I'm trying to be good to him, when he does something egregious like try to cow kick me like that, he's going to get repercussions for that. And if you don't understand that, well, then we'll do something else to make him understand it. Because you're not going to let him take over. Right. Quit being snorty. See, it's kind of like with him. He wants to. You know, I, I have no doubt that he's probably had fly spray on because he didn't really absolutely freak out or whatnot, but he's not been practiced at the basics. 
to understand that this stuff is not here to hurt him. And he wants to just react and get away from things rather than trusting whoever's on the end of this lead that things are all right and you don't have to be so reactive about things. All right, we're gonna move on here a little bit, see what he knows about some groundwork. And it's basically just a building block from doing the round pen work. I want to make it obvious where I want to send him. I want to open that door of least resistance to send him in that direction, keep him out in his space, away from my space, and not muscle into me, and follow the directions of my reins. My primary rein and my secondary rein, or my direct rein and indirect and supporting rein. So, we'll give him his direction, just like I did with the round pen work, move out of the doorway, use my secondary rein, kiss a little bit, and ask him to follow through with that request. I'll try that again. And it's all in a controlled environment, in a controlled situation. It's not about going fast and hard and making it look impressive and getting him to cross over in the front and set back his, set back his weight a little bit and, or any of that stuff. It's about build, putting the pieces together so that we understand what it is I want and he understands what it is I want. Because unlike trainers that have to do a production line training process and they only got so much time to work with individual horses in order to keep the bottom line profit margin intact, I don't have to push hard and fast and get something done in a quick amount of time just to keep the production line going. I'm going to work at this horse's speed as much as I can so that he understands it. So that he understands it and willingly goes along with the program, not being forced or pounded into to get compliance. to get something done. Now we're gonna try and stop him over here a little bit and get a little bit of a, a backup out of him if I can. Just a little bit. But I don't want much because I want him to understand I can come up to him and pet on him and he doesn't have to back away like he's been doing the last couple of days. That's pretty good. All right, this time we're going to start to the right. And then we're going to go turn and go right back to the left if we can. See there, he's getting a little bit springy. Thinks that's what I'm asking, maybe. But he's got his ear on me, so I'm going to just look at his head a little bit, give him a little tweak, and see if I can slow that down. And that's good. He didn't keep spooling up. He didn't get carried away. But I didn't ask him to try it either. He did that on his own, and that's all right. I'll allow that, because I want him to try it eventually. Today, now I'm going to ask him to try it a little bit. But I want him to do it at a speed that I want. That's pretty good. You know, I'll ask for a little a couple of steps back again. All righty. 
pretty good start to the morning. All right, now I know that the owner has done a little bit of desensitizing with him. He's let him over the tarp a little bit, and I don't know what else, but and I did a little bit yesterday with the rope too, but not enough to really get him sensitized or desensitized to things being over his body and around. So we're going to do some more of that right now. Start getting him prepped up here to get the saddle blanket on him. You notice too that I'm not forcing him to stay in one place. Okay, I'm bending his nose and controlling his movement a little bit, but if he needs to move his feet to figure things out, then that's okay. But he's just going to do it in a controlled way. Because horses need to deal with things by moving their feet. They're not going to stand there and pick a fight with you usually. They're going to try and run off or get away from whatever is just bothering them. So I'm going to allow a certain amount of foot movement as long as it's under control and he starts to settle down and figure things out here. Alright, now we're going to just kind of toss this rope at him a little bit here and see how he takes that. See, stuff around his hind quarters a little bit, it's a little bit touchy, so that's a thing I got to remember. I need to work on that a little more. So that if something happens where something, a lead rope or a rein or something like that gets caught down between his hips or his flanks and he's not aware of it, he might decide to jump and go to humping around a little bit if he doesn't have some training on how that stuff works and what it is and be able to get used to it. There we go. I don't know if you heard that on his, on the microphone, but he took a deep breath and he kind of licked and chewed a little bit, and relaxed. And that's what we're looking for. Just, you know, with your desensitizing, you're looking to build up this horse's confidence, not tear it down and get him flooded with every scary thing that you can possibly think of to where he just doesn't react or have any personality at all left. And he's able to look to you for that support to get through things rather than reacting in a survival mode like a lot of horses do because they don't trust their owners. All right, we're going to pull up the cinch here a little bit. I use my lead rope to just kind of give him a little pressure on his belly. Pick it up, let it down, see how he reacts to it. I don't hold it snug until I'm confident that he's able to understand what it is. Okay, now I got a little pressure on his belly. With that, I'm going to bend his head here a little bit and see if I can get him to take a step forward or around a little bit, move his head or his body, get him unlocked a little bit, let him feel what that simulated cinch is going to be like. As he moves his feet around a little bit. Good. That's 
real good. All right, how long have we been going now? 15? Okay, turn it off there. We're going to move on a little bit to the saddle blanket.